Welcome to the IMC Studio tutorial. Today I would like to introduce you to this innovative software for solving all of your testing challenges. We will take a look at exactly what this software is and where you can find the basic functions in IMC Studio. So let's get started. After you have started the IMC Studio program, you'll find several links on the home page that will help you in navigating the program. Under Experiment, you can, for example, begin a new experiment or open an existing one. Under Devices, you can choose to go directly to the device list or you can choose to search for a particular device. Under Information, you can bring up the online help service. In the lower window, labeled Recent Experiments, you can view or select any previous experiments. On the left side of the page, you can find a column that displays all of the IMC Studio plugins. That is, all the components that are available for the software. This column remains here permanently, and regardless of where you are located in the program, you can always choose one of these icons. Next to the home page, you can find the plugin Setup. This plugin contains all the necessary settings for configuring your device. For example, here you can see all of the available channels under the Analog Channel tab. The IMC Studio plugin Panel is the graphical user interface with data visualizations and control elements. With the additional components, such as IMC Sequencer or IMC FAMOS, the IMC panel can have full control over every aspect of the complete process. IMC Automation is the IMC Studio plugin where you can create and generate certain tasks, sequence control, for controlling the measurement. This is well suited for test bench applications. To use the IMC Automation plugin, you must be connected to a measurement device and use IMC Online FAMAS Professional. The IMC Sequencer plugin provides automated workflow within your test and measurement environment. For example, you can choose to create anything from a simple process that will load a single configuration, start the measurement, perform data analysis, and generate a report, up to defining complex multi-page operational instructions. In the upper area of the IMC Studio program, you can find the ribbon controls. They will always automatically adjust to the respective plugin. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for your attention and stay tuned for the next IMC Studio tutorial.